Standing outside Independent House, uh, the ironically titled Independent House, which was pretty central to the business empire of William Martin Murphy in Dublin. Not only did William Martin Murphy own the Irish Independent, he also owned the Evening Herald and the Irish Catholic newspaper, and his business empire was vast. He was responsible for railways in Africa, the Dublin United Tram Company here at home, the Imperial Hotel in Cleary's, among other business interests in the city. William Martin Murphy and Jim Larkin, though, interestingly, one group Larkin appealed to were some of Murphy's own workers. Young newsboys, young Dublin newsboys, quickly found a very important ally in big Jim Larkin when he came to this city. Larkin paid young newsboys significantly more uh, to sell his paper than they were sold by the Irish Independent. And the, the print run and the distribution of the Irish worker for an explicitly left-wing newspaper, it had a remarkable print run and readership in the city of Dublin. In 1911, young Dublin newsboys made the decision to go on strike. And many of these boys were hogging Murphy's papers on street corners. And it was an incredible strike. During it, for example, newspapers wrote that there were scenes when the Evening Herald vans on leaving Independent House were ambushed by young newsboys and copies of the paper were thrown into the River Liffey. So Murphy and, and, and Larkin, the, 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 the rivalry or the hatred between the two, in ways it was very personal. Murphy saw Larkin as organizing his young workforce, his young children. Ernie O'Malley, the famous Republican writer, he talked about seeing a newsboy strike at the time and he wrote about quick-witted urchins going to war with the DMP, moving through the back alleys and laneways that they knew like the back of their own hands. Ironically, it was a son of William Martin Murphy, William Lombard Murphy, who was instrumental in setting up the Belvedere Newsboys Club as a charity for young Dublin newsboys. So Larkin's allies in the end, it was William Martin Murphy's son who was instrumental in, in setting up a charity to help them out. Yeah.